Well, hello, hello, and welcome or welcome back to The Winning Wallet. My name is Elle, and here on this channel, we know it's never too early and never too late to start taking good care of our finances. On this channel, you will find all fun things related to budgeting and cash stuffing, sinking funds, savings challenges, with a little bit of wisdom thrown in from time to time. Now, let's get into the money. Okay, what we are doing today, you guys, is updating my sinking funds, and some interesting financial things have happened recently, and I just don't quite know what to think about it because it is all positive, and I know that things will not always be this way. When I went to calculate my final paycheck for summer, typically it's only for three or four days, but you guys, my final paycheck that I will receive after school has already ended will be a full paycheck without deductions. So that means not only am I getting an extra full pay, it will be even higher because there won't be the deductions coming out. In addition to that, by the time you see this video, you will have already seen the unstuffing of my summer binder. You guys, I overstuffed that binder by 200 or actually three over $300. I did take a chunk of that, about $70, to start it again for summer of 2024. But imagine my surprise when I went <laughs> to sit down and do the accounting and find that we had overstuffed that binder. So that gives me about $270 left or so going back to the bank that is extra. That's going to help fund my summer, my summer plans, traveling to see my parents. So that is extra money that I didn't realize I had already stuffed. Today for sinking funds, let's see what we are stuffing. I believe it's just over $200, maybe $225. So here we go. Let's see what we have. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75, 85, 95, 200, 5, 10, 15, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, $225. Now, over summer, it's very likely that I will not be stuffing um, this large of an amount, and that's okay, you guys. Small stuffings still add up. Thankfully, because I have a little bit of excess funds coming in, I won't have to deduct and use that much from my sinking funds for my summer plans. We'll see how that works out week by week. So let's go ahead and set up our money today. Okay, these sinking funds are a way to prepare for the future for expenses that come up that we might know are on the way, or sometimes they can help out in an emergency, but these sinking funds have come into play and been very useful over the last couple of months, particularly in April last month when I did quite a bit of spending. Oh boy, did I ever. Um, so let's go ahead and catch up today. Pet care for Miss Lucy Girl and Capone getting $10 today. Let's go ahead and add that 10 in. And now pet care, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 95, and 100. All right, next is going to be my car, also getting $10 today. I will be needing to do some maintenance for my upcoming travels uh, to see my parents. This will probably not cover all of it, but it will definitely help. And here we go, 100, 250, 300, 10, 15, 16, 17. Actually, that may cover all of it. We'll see how that works out. Okay, next, emergencies, also getting 10. And let's put this here today. I did do a small condensing. I needed some smaller bills, so I did some condensing here. 100, 250, 300, 
10, 15, 16. So you guys, the money is really adding up. Next is going to be moving on the back burner. I did email um, the manager of my apartment complex and asked if she could give me an update on projected um, rental increases for this year. And you guys, I have to tell you, I'm nervous and I'm scared and I'm upset because last year, my rent increased $400 a month. It increased 33% over what I was paying, and I'm freaking out a little bit. I have been decluttering my house. I have been getting rid of things like old shoes, old books, old clothes that I haven't worn in years. Really, even, even old candles, you guys. I have been trying to get rid of stuff in preparation for moving. And I have to be honest, I'm very nervous. I'm scared. Um, so please keep me in your thoughts if you would. It's a very nerve-wracking time. Um, but anyway, 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 so moving today, getting $5, I'm hoping that I will not have to move immediately, you guys, because I don't think there's anything more affordable in my area. So why move from the apartment that I've been in for 13, well, 14 years now, um, to just go pay as much somewhere else? So I don't know, it's a nerve wracking time. So thank you for listening to me <laughs> babble on about that. So anyway, moving has 150, 250, 300, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. And furniture will also be getting $5 today. When I do move, I will definitely be needing new furniture. So here we go, 150, 70, 175, 6, 7, and 8. All right, medical getting 50 today. I will be needing to bump this up just a little bit, so let's take care of that. And, oop, see, throwing money. <laughs> throwing money. So there's 20, 40, and then... 50. And let's see what we are up to in medical today. We have 51, 20, 40, 60, 75, 76, 176. Next is going to be my personal money. I try not to dip into this too much. Getting 20 today. Maybe some of this will go on vacation with me, um, but I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to work out my vacation budget. And here we go. 152, 50, 70, 90, 310, 330, 350, 370, 375. Is that right? Let me double check. I think that is right, you guys. I think that is right. Okay, nice to have that there. I feel like that's another bit of an emergency fund if I should need it. All right, next fund is getting 20 again with thinking of summer coming on the way. Oh my God, I so need my summer vacation. So in fun, we have 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 5, 6, 7, and 8. All right, another fund there for summertime. Shopping today, getting 20. I don't know if I'll buy anything when I'm on vacation, you guys, but what a nice memory to just buy a little trinket of some sort while I'm visiting my parents. And here we go, 50, 100, 10, 20, 1, 2, and 3. Next is going to be miscellaneous, getting $5 today. Okay, so we are up to... 51, 10, and 15. So over the last six months, you guys, I have dipped into these funds as needed, used them as needed, and then just restuffed them as, as I could. And as you can see, the amounts really do add up. Hair completely empty. Whoo, that was a nice bill to chop it all off and change the color. Um, but I do love the results, so we will big build this back up with 40 today. 10, 20, 30, and 35, and 40. 10, 20, 35, 40. Next is going to be eating out for 10. So 
so we will add five and 10. So 50, 100, 5, 10, 11. All right, groceries, just an extra fund here, getting five today. So we are up to 120, 45. I do live in a hurricane state. This will be a nice little buffer there should I need to prepare um, with some hurricane food over the summer. Home getting, let's see, five today. Anything I might need to pick up for the home. 20, 40, 60, 75, and then the rest goes to Ms. Lucy Girl. This is her toy fund. You guys, I think I could give her a new toy every single day and she would still go through them like water. She is just such a chewer. So I set up this new fund for her specifically for toys and this should be $10 left for her. So five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoo! Okay. I thought maybe I was short there, but it looks good. So here we have for Miss Lucy Girl's Toy Fund, 20, 40, 60, 5, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. All right, you guys. So we are up to date. We are stuffed. We have a fun and filled and stuffed fat and happy binder. So there you have it, you guys. Thank you for joining me today on The Winning Wallet, where we know it's never too early and never too late to start taking good care of our finances. Can you believe some of the amounts that I have in this binder? You guys, I've been working so hard over the last six months, and I feel like it is starting to come together. I'm getting some amounts in here that I can really see being beneficial to my finances and my financial picture in the future, particularly on vacation over summer. These things are really going to help. And with the overstuffing of my summer binder, <laughs> I just feel like I'm in good shape, you guys. And that is such a good feeling. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for being on this journey with me. Your support is so appreciated. I am wishing each and every one of you just a great day, a great week. And remember, it's never too early and never too late to start taking good care of our finances. And also remember, self-care is never selfish. Take good care of yourselves. And until next time, my friends, bye for now.